Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. Drone operator charged for hitting the super scooper, uh, unusual machine to acquire a loft, a Philly YouTuber plea deal, and then numerous new drone bills that are in state legislature. Let's get to it. And first up, Peter Hackerman of Culver City, California, has agreed to plead guilty to one count of unsafe operation of an unmanned aircraft. Now, if you haven't heard this story before, a drone hit a Canadair CL-415, aka Super Scooper, on January 9th, uh, damaging a 3-inch by 6-inch portion of the leading edge of the wing. And numerous UAS parts were located inside of the wing after the damage was located by aircraft maintainers. Now, the aircraft was on loan from the Canadian government and was operating over LA in response to the wildfires that are burning in the city. After recovering the parts, investigators were able to trace them to a specific drone which led them to Ackerman. According to the plea agreement, Ackerman admitted to reckless operation and posed a imminent safety hazard. Uh, the plea agreement also says that Ackerman has agreed to pay restitution to the uh, government of Quebec for the damage to the aircraft, which is estimated to be approximately $65,000, and then also to complete 150 hours hours of community service. Now, Ackerman's attorney said that there are a number of mitigating factors that will be brought up in court, including Ackerman's reliance on the DJI drone's geofencing safeguard feature and the failure of that feature. Now, we'll keep you updated as we see more, but uh, I find it interesting blaming uh, DJI for this when uh, their whole geosystem is not designed to do any of this. Next up, Unusual Machines will acquire Aloft Technologies in a $14.5 million deal. Now, closing of the acquisition is dependent on stockholder approval and financial audits. We expect the Aloft team to continue working on providing us with the best possible uh, Lance experience and will continue to support Airware. Uh, we're really excited actually for the team over there. Congratulations. A Philly YouTuber, Michael DiQuerco, has settled in court for alleged illegal flights. Now, if you're not familiar with the story, DiQuerco uh, has been in the FA's eye for a few years now after operating numerous times over people in fog and cloud and over 400 feet. Now, initially, the FA proposed the 182,000 fine that kind of became famous, but DiQuerco allegedly continued to operate in an unsafe manner with additional flights against the regulations. Now, as part of the court settlement, the Quirco agrees to never operate any UAS of any type, size, or model within the United States, nor will he ever seek to uh, get any type of certification or licenses to operate a UAS. The Quirco also agrees to remove his YouTube channel, Philly Drone Life, which is now gone from YouTube, and it agrees that his surrendered item and UAS are now the property of the US government, and it agrees that any breach of these terms will result in an immediate uh, fine of $10,000. Now, this is hopefully the end of this saga as well, uh, which has been going on for uh, at least the last six years. And then last up, uh, this is frustrating. Uh, numerous drone bills are in state legislature at the moment, and we're going to quickly cover each of the state because there is quite a bit of a long list, but I would like for you guys to get involved uh, if this is something that's happening in your area uh, by contacting your local representative, and you can do that through the Drone uh, Advocacy Alliance website, so uh, we'll put a link down in the description. But uh, the gist of it for these bills uh, is that in Connecticut, SB0003, that's three zeros and then a three, is not yet published public, but is expected to be similar to the bill that was defeated last year regarding drone restrictions. Uh, in Kansas, proposed legislation for a drone ban is based on country of concerns. In Massachusetts, we have HD 79 that would impose restrictions on procuring and using drones based on country of origin. In Missouri, HB 210 is identical to a bill that was defeated last session and would impose restrictions on drone use in the state. Uh, two additional bills with identical text also aim to impose impose restrictions on the purchase and the use of drones based on country of origin. And then in New Jersey, two bills are currently a threat, A2570 and S3483. Uh, A2570 would prevent public safety use of DJI drones. S3483 is a public safety drone ban that would lead to additional restrictions. In Nebraska, LB660 seeks to impose restrictions on certain drones unless they are a newly created uh, list called the List of Security secure drones authorized for purchase. Uh, the list is based on cybersecurity standards that have not been developed. Although 
kind of like that idea a lot better than all the other ones. Uh, North Dakota, HB 1038 would add funding to a UAS test site and set up a grant program to remove certain drones from state use and then replace them with more expensive alternatives. In Oklahoma, SB 488 would also prevent drone purchases unless they are on an approved list. This is very similar to the bill that was defeated previously. In Virginia, HB 2038 would mandate a list of approved drones for public safety agencies based on unspecified cybersecurity risk assessments. This could go into effect as soon as July 1st of this year. And then in Washington, SB 5302 would prevent the acquisition and the use of drones based on where they are manufactured. And yes, that is a lot of new bills to start the year. Not uh, very surprising, quite frankly, we were expecting that. Everybody came back from recess and then now they actually want to do some work. Uh, if you live in one of these places, please be sure to reach out to your state legislature and let them know. Now, join us later today for happy hour in the community on Friday. And then there will not be a live Q&A on Monday because I will be traveling. Uh, there will be a post flight uh, posted into the uh, premium community. So we'll see you then.